Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzz Hoover channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. That's also going to include shorts as well as the occasional community posts. But of course, all you guys across new tech as well, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, amazing how you guys have helped out the channel here lately. The likes and the shares absolutely are incredible. And the comments, comments help just as much. So thank you guys for all of your continued support. We start things off from commercial appeal. Watch Kyle Rittenhouse storm out of University of Memphis event aimed questions. Now you guys may be wondering, cause we're not covered it here in a while, but Black Lives Matter, Black Bloc, Antifa are still out there. They're very active. Of course, this is the, the ilk of the left, the ilk of the establishment and Democrats, yet they don't get any sort of association, do they, when it comes to inciting these individuals? Because, of course, these individuals are almost like an entity unto themselves. But, you see, the left, they get the opportunity to create chaos and disorder and disruptions and become a menace, and it's rarely addressed. As a matter of fact, the police and others... Uh, well, in this case, you'll see that they do kind of try to handle the situation because, of course, it is a prepared event that Kyle was attending. Kyle right now speaking event at the University of Memphis took a sharp turn when he left the stage as his views on what he considers was racist was questioned. The event was originally met with backlash that soon turned into hundreds, hundreds protesting outside the UC theater at the University of Memphis. One protester held up a sign that said, Put Rittenhouse behind bars, not a podium. Now, you find it fascinating, don't you? How they're able to put people behind bars. You remember the, remember the chance they used to do at the Trump rallies with uh, Hillary Clinton? And they were just outraged by it. How, how, how dare these supporters uh, say such things? But, of course, when it comes to the left, they're able to say these things. And I say this because, as we talked about in the past, when it comes to certain groups from the Middle East that have been coming into certain countries... As these individuals, like BLM, like Black Bloc, like individuals from the Middle East, the left are terrified of them because they know that these people will act out on their, in other words, they will find justification. They will find their own righteousness and they will take it out on it. So they don't try to stop them. No, they try to stop the people who they know are cooperative, just like the Republican Party, the GOP. They try to play by the rules. They try to, they try to go by the law. And what happens? The Democrats, the Democrats, they do whatever they want to. It's, it's of no particular consequence. They just want to win. They just want to get votes. So I digress. And, of course, they called him uh, another name here that I won't mention that, that, that doesn't belong here. Rittenhouse gained notoriety after fatally shooting two protesters and injuring another during a Black Lives Matter rally in Wisconsin. We covered that extensively. Uh, that was in 2020. We may have covered it in 2020, maybe 2021 as well. He was charged but was acquitted in a trial in 2021. But, but, but as we've always said, even Trump was acquitted, you know, as, uh, as you saw in my video from yesterday from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and uh, Tony Bombaletsky, where she was saying, you know, she was talking about how RICO isn't a crime, yet that's what they charged President Trump and the others with here in Georgia. And then she also said, <laughs> she also said that um, we have a process, you know, impeachment 101. You know, yeah, we have a process. You impeach a president, you find them guilty, and then you turn it over to the DOJ. But in the case of Donald Trump, he was impeached for January 6th, and he was acquitted. But you see, when it comes to these individuals, the acquittal part, the not guilty, doesn't matter. Because in their minds, there is guilt. In their minds, as long as this person exists, they are guilty and needs to pay the price for, well, basically because of their anger, right? They're looking for retribution. X, formerly known as Twitter, has seen post after post of University of Memphis students protesting Rittenhouse speaking events on campus. Some posts showed videos of students leaving as Rittenhouse spoke. So, I mean, basically they're just showing it. I'm going to show you some clips of it now. It should be fine to show on YouTube because there really isn't any violence. Uh, but I just want to give you guys an idea of how these people operate, right? And thankfully, of course, the police are there because if they weren't there, it would be another story. But I just want you to see. That was a man with a child there, wasn't it? I don't see Kyle there, though. That's what was kind of weird. Oh, these are these are just attendees, maybe? Because I didn't see Kyle.
Oh, a beautiful campus here. Now, most of these people look like they're just running with cameras. So basically, you know, you get the idea. Um, obviously, we can make clear distinctions between uh, certain groups of agitators versus other groups of agitators. But, of course, they're not going full on because, you know, obviously the police are there. But it doesn't really stop them from behaving the way they behave because, of course, they're they're just filled with anger and retribution. And they, they've placed themselves in a position of righteousness that they believe that they're in the right, right? Because they've suffered, because of... Uh, injustices because of things that, that have been done to them they now feel justified and, and it's the same thing with individuals from the Middle East I know I, I hate to be very generic but it's YouTube so I have to speak in very general generic terms so of course I'm not being I am generalizing here so you guys can understand what I'm saying that they're terrified of these individual people because these people will act out because they feel justified and they feel righteous in their anger to act out the way they do because a law-abiding citizen, as we've always talked about here, law-abiding citizens follow the law. Just like we saw in New York when it came to um, Antifa and the Proud Boys, right? They got into a scuffle there after, um, I can't think of his name right now, was speaking, at a, uh, was speaking at a Republican event. And as they left, then Black, uh, black Bloc was attacking them, or Antifa was attacking them, and they got into a scuffle. And then when the police showed up, Antifa took off, and the Proud Boys stood there and said, yeah, we were involved in this, and the Proud Boys were arrested. <laughs> you see? You cooperate with the police, and they will arrest you. They're not going to arrest them. They took off. So, and it's basically the way it is. They, they know how to play the game. They know how to leave when it, when it, when it, when it hap when, the, when these sorts of things happen. So, I'll put up the person's name there in the video so you guys will know who I'm talking about. But it's just extraordinary, is it not, that... Um, and we're probably going to see more of this. And this would explain why the media is probably covering it. Because this is this is what was happening also during the, the time that Donald Trump was in office as well. Uh, particularly with, um, with George Floyd and these sorts of things. So they're probably just trying to amp this all up. They're trying to create all this amped up situation to kind of associate it. But I find it interesting that, that the Democrats and the left, they're never held responsible for inciting or, 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 or causing this or condemning what BLM is doing, or Black Bloc, or Antifa. They never condemn it. You don't see it on mainstream media saying they condemn all this, but it's fascinating. But I'd like to get your thoughts, too. Are you seeing more of this on the rise? Are we going to be seeing more of this on the rise? Because it is 2024, as we said. It's going to get pretty wild, and things are going to continue as, as, we, as we see Trump continuing on, and it looks like they're going to try to seize his buildings in New York because, as we, as we covered earlier this week, they made it a practical impossibility for him to pay half a billion dollars in bond. It's, it's all intentional. It's ridiculous. But nonetheless, that's what I have for you guys this Friday. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Below the video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to. So I encourage you guys to follow me there. It does help out. And of course, if you have Amazon Prime or order from Amazon frequently, you have my links down below that help out the channel. And all the help you guys can give is always appreciated because like I said, the likes, the shares, and the comments always help out the channel. Absolutely very grateful and thankful for all you guys for helping us. And that's what we have for this Friday, of course. And appearing there on the screen, if you're watching on YouTube, that would be the channel icon. You guys can click on that to subscribe, as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys behind the Galaxy Phone camera next week.